Okay, it's 10 a.m. and we are live. We are live. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm your moderator for today, Roshini. And um, I'm sure all of us are back to work, most of us at least. So um, stay safe, uh, maintain the social distancing, distancing, sorry. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, now, um, UCSI College is back yet with another live forum. And um, today we'll be talking about um, how to be a confident public speaker. I think this, this topic can be benefited by many, including me, myself, and I'm sure all students, even from five, from four students, uh, even adults though, because in the working world, you'll definitely be needed to you know, do presentations, to speak to customers, to speak to anyone for the matter. So I'm sure this will benefit everyone now. Without further delay, I'm going to introduce our speaker. We have Mr. Abdul Jalil here. He's our um, head of program for the English department and lecturer from UCSI College. Um, good morning, Mr. AJ. We're calling AJ in short, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, morning, all. AJ. Good morning, Roshini, and good morning, everybody who has joined us. Uh, I hope that uh, you will find this forum very useful because it, it is going to be useful for your future. Yep. Because, uh, yep. like Roshini said, you know, in life, you will speak to someone and you will, uh, you know, tr sell something or you will need to convince someone of your ideas and whatnot. Yeah. Right. True. Um, yes. Now, before we continue with the, I, I pass the floor, before I pass the floor to Mr. AJ, I'd just like to give a small reminder to all uh, viewers. Now, you can share this video to anyone and everyone. You can uh, get in your questions down in the comment section below. I'll get Mr. AJ to answer you. And um, I see that Mr. AJ probably has questions as well that he'll be asking you also today. It's going to be a yeah. fun interaction <laughs> section. So let's get all the comments or if you have any concerns about you know public speaking or anything of that matter. You can actually get it down in the comment section below and we will, yeah, we'll be there to assist you to answer you, yeah? All right, uh, Mr. AJ, the yeah. floor with you <laughs> thank you so much okay no so i'll be sharing my uh the presentation that i have prepared can you see it yes yes of course of course all right so uh today we are going to be going to be talking about how to become a confident public speaker in um you know in the course of your life i am sure that you have experienced a time where you were frozen, you know, in public, and you did not uh -huh. know what to say, right? Yep. Okay, Roshini, have you, have you, have you felt <laughs> yes. that before? A lot. I think most of the forums you see, I'm like, uh, um. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's normal. Okay, I'm going to be sharing you in a bit uh, a few fun facts about public speaking, and mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be thinking that, oh, I am normal actually. Okay, because everybody seems to have this problem. All right, let me begin. Uh, All right. Let, a few fun facts about, mm -hmm. uh, what is this? Uh, public speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for an average person, okay, adult, mm -hmm. you will be giving 47 speeches throughout life. Sheesh, how do you, yes. how, how did you get that number? Why 47? Uh, I will, uh, there was a okay. survey done. Actually, it, the survey was done in uh, the U.S. Uh -huh. in Cincinnati University, uh, and they have generalized it uh, for the population. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's very common for us to, to, to face this situation, you know? Like, mm -hmm. like you, for example, you work and you uh, work in sales or marketing or something, yep. and you have to talk to someone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and you have to stand in front of a crowd to speak about something. So that can count. Sometimes, you know, at, at a wedding, you need to uh, give a speech. Yeah. Yeah, you need to talk to students. You need to talk to a group of friends and whatnot. Okay, those can be counted mm -hmm. as uh, public speaking or speeches. Okay. And uh, a lot of us, we have this, uh, because so many of us have fear with public speaking, okay, mm -hmm. it has been uh, uh, listed down under phobias. Okay, mm -hmm. one of the phobias. So the name is glossophobia. Glossophobia means that the fear of public speaking. 
when we talk about phobia, it's not uh, something that you are scared of, but you are really, 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 really scared of. Anxious yes. about, yeah, okay. Yeah, super anxious about. Okay. And uh, from the name itself, glosso. Glosso means uh, uh, word or speech. Glossaries, yeah, okay. Yeah, like glossary, correct. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, from a professor, mm -hmm. Jeffrey R. Strong, okay, if you can see his name down here, he's from University of Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. So he, he mentioned that uh, from the survey, right, the fear of public speaking is more common in younger patients compared to older ones, and maybe more prevalent in females as compared to males. Oh, if, mm. yes. If you look at the first point, okay, mm. in, uh, more common in younger patients as compared to older ones. It's, it's very logical, you know, older, older people, uh, I mean, like us, mm -hmm. we, have, we have more experiences and mm -hmm. we have been through uh, certain experiences that, that helps us to conquer the fear uh, co as compared to the younger ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the I'm second like point, the second point, I think maybe more prevalent in females as compared to males, because uh, most of the time, I think this is just my personal opinion yeah, throughout my life. Mm -hmm. I think females are more self-conscious than males. Yes, I'll tell you why. Um, mm. this, is, this is a small sharing. Sorry for interrupting. No, no problem. I, I did my postgrad, uh, sorry, I did my undergrad in psychology. So I, my last thesis was about body image. Mm. So I was doing body image issues on a, uh, what do you call this, industrial scale. Right, yeah. but you have to read all the journals. So yes, there was one journal I remember very vaguely about how body image has a problem for females and that's why they find it so hard to go out and date also uh, ah. public speaking because they're very conscious about their body so yeah correct this is i read yeah. about this yes the uh, body image is, is one uh, factor Aspect. There, yes. there are a lot more uh, self-consciousness you know that, yep. that can stop us from giving uh, good speeches yep 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 and uh, so when he did this survey in University of Cincinnati, mm -hmm. uh, he found out that number one fear, okay, amongst uh, I think around 50 uh, people, okay, number one fear is public speaking. Can you guess yeah. what is the number two fear? Wait, let me, let me. Guys, if y'all have any quiz, sorry, viewers, if y'all got any, I mean, answers, y'all can actually put it on the quiz, uh, comment section below. Second fear. Uh, yeah, so number one, Fear is public speaking. What do you think is the second thing that they uh, fear the most? Mm. <laughs> Actually, I know this answer. I forgot. <laughs> uh, we learned it as well. Um, oh, okay. Is it? Just, just take a quick Fa guess. Okay. Mm. Failing in exams? I don't know. Is it? Failing in exam. Uh, no. You know, failing in exam, you can repeat that. So it's not really a fear. So it's something I guess. That you can't repeat while performing <laughs> on stage. <laughs> okay, let, let me share the answer. Number two fear is death. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I was surprised when I found uh, out about this. I mean, I found out about this, I think, three years ago when I read uh, this survey. And mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very logical because, you know, with public speaking, we can anticipate what will happen. Mm. We can clearly see that if let's say our speech uh, is, you know, not going to be very good mm -hmm. and we can really understand how the audience will, will view us. Mm -hmm. But with death, it's just like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you cannot anticipate what will happen after that. So we don't know that. True. So, True. yeah. So I think this is why number one fear is public speaking. And to stand in front of a crowd, it's just so um, fearsome for a lot of people, including myself, actually. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so uh, let's move on to, uh, to what are we so scared about uh, public speaking? Mm -hmm. uh, the audience, if, the audience uh, if I may ask you, what are you so scared about public speaking? Is it your image? Is it your, uh, the audience attention span? What are you so scared about? And maybe okay. Roshini, uh, yeah. what are you so yeah. scared about with public mm. speaking? Um, I think my a top fear would be, you know, not getting my uh, point across. Like, mm. you see, mm. I believe when, when you deliver something, there's so many factors to it. 
So Correct. I am afraid yeah. that I won't get it past to you because I need to not only get the point to you, I need to mm-hmm. get the emotions, the intensity of it to you. Okay, all right. So I think I they mean. are uh, they are uh, it's true, you know, it, it's how a lot of people feel. A lot of people feel uh, scared of the audience. And it's not something that we should be scared about. Believe when, if when you we deliver something there's so really, many really factors prepared. to it. You know what I mean? So right. I am afraid yeah. that I won't get it past to you. <laughs> because I need to get the is prepared. The point that, to you. That is very I subjective. The emotion, that is very subjective. The intensity of it to you. Uh, in this case, you know, okay. we always right. get less. Is so I think I they are, but uh, in this case, uh, yeah. more. It's true. It's you know, better. it's how mm-hmm. a lot of people okay. feel. More, more a lot of people better. feel okay. uh, scared of the I'll audience. I'll just uh, start with the common, most common fear about public speaking. The first one would be you being judged. You know what I mean? So I am right. afraid that I wouldn't get that is, You know how we can see <laughs> you know, how the pen is prepared. The point to you that is very uh, subjective. The emotion is very subjective. The intensity of it to you. Uh, in this case, you know, we always get less. Learning. So that's what I mean. Uh, but in this case, are, uh, yeah. you know, it's true. It's you know, you're taking a nap there. A lot of people are making faces. And what else? Okay, so this is what we, almost all of us, are scared of. Because we are too self-conscious about it. True. Um, Mr. Yeah. AJ, hold on. We have a comment in the comment section. Yeah. Uh, Fun Hung Wong said that I'm afraid about how people judge me when I speak in ah. front of the public. Okay. All right. I think uh, it, it's very common, especially when you are speaking uh, in another language, in a second yeah. language. Uh, I, I've been teaching English for so long and I've asked these questions again and again and again to my students. Uh, why are you so scared to converse in English? And most of the time they will mention, they will say that uh, it's, you know, it's about the grammar, it's about the vocabulary that they use, it's about their pronunciation. And so why are you so scared about it? It's about what other people will say about mm. me. Yes. Yep. That is always the answer. And I, I was like, I, I, I understand that. Okay, I yep. was there, been there, yep. done that. Yep, understood yeah. as well. Yeah, so the more you do it okay the 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 more uh you try mm-hmm. to do it okay the better you'll be at it don't stop. i agree i yeah. agree yes do not stop just because people say that you're not good yep yep okay all right so yeah we we have the same point there okay <laughs> the next one is coming off as a dummy okay this is you know we we might you know walking uh towards the stage and we trip, we (laughs) might say something uh, stupid, we might, uh, you know, try to say a word, but it doesn't want to come out and things like that. Mm. Okay, so we, again, because we are too self-conscious about how we look, how uh, people are going to look at us, you know, all the things that, all the factors that, that will affect our speeches. And also, Ah, number three. Number three is actually one of the things that I was, oh. I'm still am scared, am scared about speaking in front of professional yes. people yeah, or colleagues. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, people like when you are giving a speech and, you know, right in front of you, the first, the very first line of the mm. audience will be all the professors, all the doctors, all this, you know, uh, for me, uh, the famous names. You know? Yeah, I understand. And, I understand. Yeah, it's very intimidating to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even you know, in my own experience, for me to to talk, you know, to have like a, a very uh, casual conversation with someone professional, with higher authority. Yeah. It's a bit. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah. So uh, this is another uh, uh, thing that we fear about public speaking, and uh, making a foolish mistake. Okay, we can go back to uh, point number two. It's the same thing, all right? Uh, sometimes, you know, we tend, uh, we, we try to to crack a joke, but it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and, and it is the worst feeling, I tell you. The worst ever Stand-up feeling. Stand-up comedians, <laughs> I'm sure they face it a lot. Unless yes, you're really okay. good, though. Mm, yeah. yeah, so uh, this is another thing that, you know, making a foolish mistake, you, you need to keep, making the foolish mistake so that you know what mistakes yes. not to make. Yes, agreed, yeah. agreed. And uh, the last one, being a deer in the headlights. Hmm. Yes, this this means, you know, when you are on a stage, if you are so scared, your heart is like 
you know, pumping out of your chest uh, <laughs> and everything just froze. Oh my yes. God. And you okay, feel paralyzed. Mm. Yeah, you, you've seen the, uh, in, a mov in movies, right? Where uh, there was a car in this uh, road uh -huh. and then a deer, a deer trying to cross the road and the deer sees the light of the, nice. from the car, the headlights from the car and then the deer just froze. Yes. Yeah, so that is another thing that we are scared about. I've experienced this before. I have did, experienced how, this before. Yeah. How did you maneuver the, the situation at that time? Oh, a lot of things. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I took a deep breath. I, I pulled myself back to the reality. Okay, I'm here. I'm here to do it and I have to do it. And I can't back out now. So I okay. just, yeah, went away with it. Like, like just go with it you know don't stop yourself okay okay yeah so they are they are actually we, we can talk about what are we scared about public speaking um uh, things that we fear about public speaking we can talk about this all day mm, you know yes. and the list yes, it goes on and on and on and on mm -hmm. yeah because for every every person is is different thing you know we are scared of different things some people might not be afraid of being judged but they are afraid of, uh, let's say, point number three, speaking in front of public uh, professional people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do, do, what, what kind of, uh, Roshini, what kind yeah. of fear, other fear that you have with public speaking? Or just, um, you know, talking to someone? Uh, I think, yeah. Um, I'm afraid that they would, you know, yeah, coming off as a dummy. Coming I, off as a dummy, yeah. Yeah, and then yes, when it comes to professional people, I think it's always that um, you know, I, I don't know how I don't know what word is that, but it's always like um intimidating. Uh, yeah, um intimidating is one, but it's more to also like, you know, what if he thinks I'm stupid? Sort of thing like that. Yeah, uh, coming off as a dummy, you know, because okay, I can only yeah, I can't imagine if you're going to give a speech in front of President Obama, I die. Oh. <laughs> I just dropped it then and there. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that's that's I, I know I, he's I, a I would person that he same. won't judge. Uh -huh. I know he's a person he won't judge because he's a leader himself. So yeah, mm -hmm. but then it's still, you know, God, he's the most powerful person in the world. Should I say things? Sort of the thing, yeah. You see, you are being too self-conscious. Yes, yes. I think yes. yeah, like mm. I, I mean it's it's very normal. There's nothing, uh, there's no need to feel bad about it because it's very normal for us to feel this way, to have certain fears about something. I mean, fear is good. Yep. Yes, fear is good. And and uh, when I talk about fear is good, let's look at these uh, two people, uh, these two very famous names, Mark Twain. He was uh, an American uh, author. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bertrand Russell, he was uh, also an American. He was a philosopher, he was a logician, mathematician, uh, and he was a part of uh, the investigation of a Russian revolt, also the World War II, and so on. Yeah, and he's also a Nobel laureate. Yeah, if you want to read more about him, you can uh, just Google his name. So uh, these two people, you know, they're very famous, so they have given a lot of speeches uh, in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. And these two people mentioned this. For Mark Twain, he said, Courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. So yep. we need to understand, we need to use the fear to drive us forward. Mm -hmm. sure. You know, because, yeah, because when, when we have fear, we know what kind of mistakes or what kind of consequences we will have in the future, you know, and we try to avoid it. And, uh, it also, uh, in, in, you know, if you're talking uh, in science-wise, uh, when we have fear, it gives us adrenaline rush. Rush, yep. Yep, yeah, so it gives us more, uh, like, a little bit of superpower, kind of. A push, yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, Professor Russell, he mm -hmm. mentioned that, and I quote, to conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. Again, both of these people, they uh, mentioned that it's not normal for a person to not have fear. Yeah. Yes, because everybody has fear, yeah. certain fears towards something. And you need to uh, take that fear, okay, and embrace it. 
in a positive way, of course. Yeah. yeah. So don't think that, oh, because I'm scared, I don't want to do it. Because I I think that the people are going to judge me, I, I can't do it. Okay, just go out and just do it. Yes, to all our young viewers, I'm sure y'all are, you, you know, y'all be, y'all have this anxiety of going to the next, uh, what do you call this, next set of your life, is that, sorry, mm, I, I can't think of the word. Yeah, next step like. of your life, next part of your life, which is tertiary studies. So now a lot of presentations would be involved. I, I'm going to be really, really, um, you know, real with y'all. So remember, um, fear would be there, it is there to help you, not to bring you down. So if mm. you're scared of something, let's go one step at a time. You have a lot yeah. of people to guide you, so don't worry. Yes, correct. Use use whatever resources that you have a, around you yeah. to to push yourself forward, to get out of that, you know, very comfort zone that you have, that you are mm -hmm. in right now. Okay? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so we have talked about, you know, what we fear about and how, why do we need to conquer our fear and now let's talk a little bit on uh, the steps, you know, that we need to take, that we can do in order for us to become a more confident, to gain more confidence in, in public speaking. All right. Okay, oh, before that, one, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Go, go on. Okay. Uh, no, AJ, you go on first, then I'll go on. I just need to, yeah. Okay, just, just before that, before okay. I move on to the next step, uh, okay. actually this problem okay a fear of public speaking is actually uh, listed down under a social anxiety disorder yep yes yep. It is. so a lot of us have it okay and it's very normal and you should not be ashamed of it okay mm -hmm. that's the first step accept that you are scared of it and when you have accepted that you are scared of it then only we can move on to the next step which is to try to conquer whatever mm -hmm. fear that we have with public speaking okay uh, yeah. On that note, so to all viewers, um, yes, please, please, please share this video and um, put in your your ideas or your uh, perception about public speaking, anything, or your fears even, or questions, anything, and we will, yeah, we'll get the, um, we can, we'll talk to you via, you know, the forum, and yeah, so anything at all, just get engaged with us. Um, all right, then, uh, Mr. AJ. Okay, all right. Uh, I think the next one, I think I have a question for the audience and also to you, Roshini, as well. What does confidence mean mean to you? Okay, all viewers, what confidence, what does confidence mean to you? Put in the comment section below. Let's uh, discuss. Now, as of for me, mm -hmm. I, um, I probably don't know how to explain, but I know how it looks like. You know how it looks like? Oh, you... Are you a visual person? I'm more of a visual person. <laughs> and okay, a, I don't right. know. I um, I yeah, I think I'm a visual first, then a feeler. But uh, anyhow, I think uh -huh. if it comes to confidence, I don't know. Confidence for me will be just I think like how President Obama or Michelle Obama is. Have you seen okay. them giving their speeches? Yes, yes, that, I have. That's that's not um, that's um, I think when he comes in, the aura changes. It's like God, you're here, sort of. Oh. Thing, you know. So that is confidence to me. Like he, he, yes. Um, when you actually watch his documentary, you learn that, that there's someone. Uh, I forgot his name. John something. He writes John his Lennon? speeches. No, John. Br I forgot his last name. But because okay. President Obama has his team, right, that travels with him anywhere and everywhere. I so see. that, yeah, that this this guy he writes his speeches for President Ob Obama. So no doubt. But when he mm. speaks, though, he, you get engaged with him immediately. I don't know, even though even though he's not in front of you, yeah, and then you want to listen to him and the way he he takes the questions and then he takes it like he doesn't have fear nothing it seems but I don't know what's going on in the inside but I think mm -hmm. that is confidence to me like when he comes he's like listen to me sort of the thing but okay. not in a very authoritative uh, way it's more of a let's do this together sort of a way so yeah I think confidence would be knowing that um, yes I'm scared probably, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I know I will ace it somehow. Okay. That is confidence All to right. me. Yeah. All right. So you think that if you are able to conquer your fear, then that is confidence for you? Yes. Okay. All right. Which is, you know, which is true. It's, it's all about all about trusting ourselves. It's about believing in ourselves. Yeah. You know, yep. we can that's do it. One. Yeah. That, that's the very first step that we should take. All of us 
should do and should take uh, for us to understand what kind of fear that we have, accept mm -hmm. it, okay? Mm -hmm. we, we are bad at it, no problem, because we are learning. Yep. Yep. So don't yep. be shy of it and, you know, just go ahead and try to uh, <clears throat> take a few steps, uh, try to do certain things to try to, you know, get everything together. Yeah. yeah so, so the audience, uh, if, if I may ask you, what do you think, you know, confidence mean to you? We have a comment from Mr. Mahmoud Adam. Mm. He said convenience. I, convenience... Means. convenience i think okay i'm 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 not sure mr mahmoud if you're watching us right now i just probably you can tell us what it means but i think if i were to rationalize it i think it's more to convenience in the sense that i'm relating to what i said probably yes like even now right live mm. forum to, to be truthful yes on the inside i'm like oh god i don't want to screw this up but i know at the end of the day i'll be able to deliver whatever i need to and whatever mm -hmm. i can so, uh, yes, over the past forums, I have been uh, improving very, very little probably. So I realize it, maybe not much less, but I think that's what he means. Convenience in the sense that now I can wake up and last time I used to get ready probably five o'clock in the morning for a 10 o'clock forum. Now I can wake up at eight o'clock and I still, ah, I'll get through sort of a thing. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, confidence in that way. Convenience. Yeah. Okay. Uh you, you, when 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 you put it that way, right? I think it's a very good um, uh, one of you know steps to for for one to take mm -hmm. because self reflection is very important if you want to improve and you have yep. reflected and you have experienced like few forums, right? Like you mentioned just now, uh, you have done few uh, live forum sessions and you realized you know what. Maybe, you know, probably the mistakes that you have done before and you try not to repeat it again in the next session. And it, it's very important for us to realize that, again, uh, accepting that we are learning. Okay, that's, that's the whole point of this thing anyway, you know, experiencing things to help us uh, gain more experience okay in order for us to be better at something yeah yeah so sure, sure. Mm. and uh i can i just move on yeah sure if i may yeah so so the audience if you have uh, your answer you may give it and we'll just you know yes. uh go we'll back to it yep. okay all right uh this is according to cambridge university cambridge mm -hmm. english in uh dictionary confidence it means the quality of being certain of your abilities yeah. or of having trust in people, plans or the future. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So this is uh, one of the very uh, most important point uh, throughout you know, the steps that we will go through later. It is for you to, to have uh, a trust in yourself, okay? Yeah. In your own abilities and also the audience and the plan, all of the plans that you have made, you know, throughout the preparation and also the outcomes. Yeah. If you believe in something, okay, I, I mean, this is pretty, uh, you know, generic and you always hear it. And if you, it. yes, if you believe in something, that something will come to you. Yeah, it's very, it's something which you can see nothing mm. because it's fully feeling and it's, it, like I said, it's philosophy, but it somehow strangely works though. Yes, correct. Okay, yeah. that is most of the time it works that way. You know, when because when you believe in something, okay, when you really, really believe in something, you will work hard for it. Yes. Okay, and you yeah. will work smart for it. And for all of the efforts that you have put, okay, I mean, not 100% all of the time, yeah. okay, because life, you know, we need to have a balance of, yep. you know, not having it and have it all the time. Yeah. So, when when we get that okay after we have spent all of the time all of the efforts okay to try to get that in the planning and also preparation when we get that okay mm -hmm. we the 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 trust in ourselves will just grow and we will become better and better and also better okay all right and so now uh the audience if you have you know the meaning of confidence to you just keep it coming and we'll we'll and go back to it and try to discuss 
Yeah. And any questions, any um, yeah, any concerns about public speaking at all, please, please, please feel free to actually uh, put it down in the comment section below. Mr. AJ and I will be there Answer, to guide you. Yeah. From yeah. The spot. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, so now we have talked about, you know, the fear and why do we need to conquer fear. And we talk a little bit about on confidence. And now let's take a look at the steps that you can take. Okay, the first steps you can take in order for you to become better in public speaking. All right, so uh, let's begin with the first one. The most basic and important step that uh, I think if you go to any uh, forum, any uh, if you discuss with anyone, if you read in any book at all, the first step is always to prepare. Okay, you cannot go on the stage, you cannot uh, go to give your speech without preparation. All right, <clears throat> so you need to prepare your speech. You need to write it down, you need to uh, draft it, you need to edit it and be, so that you'll see uh, the, or, the organization of your speech. Okay, is it organized enough? Is it not? Do I need to put more points in it? Are these points enough for the audience? Okay, mm -hmm. am, I, am I being engaging enough to the audience? Mm -hmm. And so on, all right? Mm -hmm. And of course, when you want to prepare, you need to do some research. Okay, we cannot run away from this. Okay, yes. by, yeah, by doing research, I mean, uh, I mean, the generation nowadays is very lucky because you can always just, you know, Google yes. your mm -hmm. uh, whatever information that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, like our generation in the, in the past, we internet is not so, you know, like nowadays, you know, mm -hmm. like so accessible. After we had to go through books, uh, finding uh, newspapers, cutouts, and those things. But nowadays, you can just Google everything and you can get it. Okay, so do not say that I do not have time to prepare. Okay, because the average time that you need to, to take in, or in for preparation is around, if you are like already good enough, around three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three to five days mm -hmm. before you actually give your speech. All right, uh, because it, it's not about, you know, just writing down your points, blah, blah, blah. Not that. Okay, it's about drafting, mm -hmm. editing, mm -hmm. and putting in more information. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, of course, when you want to prepare, you need to know what you are going to say, as well as know why you want to say it. Okay, the what and the why. When you want to say something, is it uh, enough for the, for the audience? Is it uh, related to the topic? Uh, is the audience going to be, you know, uh, benefited from this? Are they going to get my point or not? All right. And um, the most important part, okay, to know your audience. When you are doing your preparation, right, there is this one thing is what we call audience analysis. Mm -hmm. When, yeah, because uh, in, in giving a speech, okay, you need to be more uh, audience conscious. Yes. Yes, sure. you need to know your audience, who is the audience? Who are the people that are coming to, to your speech, to, to listen to your speech? So for example, yeah, for example, you are giving your speech to a university students. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, you can, uh, the topic that you, you have, the main ideas that you have, the examples that you use should be, you know, more or less around their time frame of life, yes. more contemporary and stuff like that. Okay, if you are talking to a lot of professors, uh, doctors, okay, you need to say, you need to quote a lot of things from uh, other people. Yeah. Yeah, so knowing your audience will help you uh, to engage with the audience better. Yep. Yeah, so uh, this is also one of the ways to, to, to try to gauge the audience attention, okay, to, to whatever that you have to say. All right, so uh, step two, Okay, step two, of course, once you have prepared your speech, uh, you need to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, for beginners, okay, even for myself, all right, uh, unless you are super expert like Barack Obama, 
So, okay, Obama. or uh, yeah, <laughs> Michelle Obama. I mean, yeah. they, I I don't think they they practice. I'm not sure. Okay, but I yeah, don't think I'm they not practice. Sure too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but for us, we of course we need to practice. Okay, because we are still trying to figure out what is the best way for us to deliver a speech. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing, if you are like so shy, you know, you are not a people person, you can try mm -hmm. to practice your speech in front of a mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did this before. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, you know, you look foolish. Don't don't be afraid. Just look foolish. Okay, look yeah. foolish as foolish as as you can. All right, so that you won't do it on the stage. Yep. Yeah. Sure. So uh, just play around with it. You know, when you look at yourself, uh, you know, dancers, dancers, they always practice their dancing in front of in front a mirror. mirror. Yes, they do. Yeah. That is to help them to see the mistakes that they do while they are dancing. Yep. So this is where you can see your gestures, your hand gestures, mm -hmm. also your fa facial expression, mm -hmm. as well as your body posture. Okay, uh, some of us really like to cower, you know, <laughs> yeah. and we didn't even notice it. Yeah, and we don't smile. Like we yeah. look so sour and so, I don't know, like angry, inside, yeah, scared. <laughs> and it shows, it mm -hmm. shows. Yeah. So by practicing in front of a mirror, you can try to, you know, try to get rid of this. Lesson the, yeah. yeah. And uh, of course you can also rehearse in front of your friends or family or members. Family members. Mm, this is this is a very good practice that many of us don't do because mm. we think that uh, it's okay. We are scared, but we think that no, it's okay. I'm shy. Let me just get on the stage and just do it. Okay, but this is actually a very very good practice because you know being with your friends or family members, they are more honest. Yeah. Yeah. In in yeah. giving their their opinion, sometimes they exaggerate, and it's good for us. <laughs> It's good for us to receive critiques from, you know, uh, people who are closer to us. Uh, yeah. Because, sure. yeah, they know us better anyway. <clears throat> and of course, you, all right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. 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 Do, no. Go on. Do we have questions. Yeah. No. And, no. 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 Questions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, of course, to ask them to give us feedback. Okay, on our performance, and this will help us, of course, to to uh, see what kind of uh, things that we need to improve. Okay, mm -hmm. and moving on, uh, do we have questions from the, the audience? We don't have questions, but uh, our very own CEO, Dr. Mabel, yeah. she commented saying that uh, confidence improves with experience. Thumbs up. Correct. Confidence Correct. improves with yeah. experience. So you need to try and go out there and, you know, just mingle with people. Do it again and people. again. Yes, do it again and again. If you, the first time you fail, it's okay. Second time also okay. Third time also okay. As long as you keep on going. Yes, it's normal. It's normal for us. Okay, it's it's very rare for a person to do one thing and just you know be successful throughout their life. I mean, there are people like that, but those are geniuses, and you know, let's not let's not uh, associate us with them. Okay, because yeah. we are this. Um, should I say we are normal people? <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. we. We experience there are just some exceptions. I'm sure like how those people have exceptions in that part. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we, even you and me, we have exceptions that we excel in certain parts of our lives as well. Yes, correct. So yeah, it's just uh, where we excel because we don't usually go out and actually explore our, uh, what do you call, talent every day. Correct. Happens yes. so these That's people, true. they happen to explore, they get it done. Correct. It's different okay. for everyone, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you see an opportunity in front of you, grab it. Yep. Yep. Yes. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Especially, you know, uh, for uh, school students. You know, school yes. students, you have you a lot of competitions, mm -hmm. uh, yep. like debate competitions or, oh, yes. um, yeah, pidato and, yes. you know, all of those competitions, poem reciting, go ahead and do it. Yep. Yes. Okay. So to Just, all our viewers, hmm. our students, students are viewing us right now all our viewers uh take the chance when it comes do not yes. um we will think about the mistakes later on let's just go and do it let's do that first and then we'll take it from there what okay. is the worst thing that could happen yeah what's the worst thing your, you just your, fall your down friends and, yeah fall yeah. down and your friends mocking you yeah i mean that, i mean come on it, uh, you yeah, get to I, that <laughs> I, I i'm not i'm not trying to discount every anything okay yeah yep but 
it's a good experience. Yes. Okay, it yep. will be like very, very good experience for you, for your future as well. All right. Okay, yep. let, let's move on to the third uh, step that we can take. Look at the audience. Okay, when you are giving your speech, look at the audience. You don't want to be looking at the wall. You don't want to be looking at the ceiling, you know, About thinking. So, yeah, yes, 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 Mr. AJ, you're saying, you go on, then I got something to add in. Okay, all right. Uh, make eye contact. Okay, so look at, look into their eyes. Okay, and tell them that you mean business. Okay, <laughs> and you want your point to, you but want you them to understand. Yes? You wouldn't want to get too in intimidated though. You don't want to send that. So usually, you know what happens? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Does it work? Like if let's say you're, you're standing on the stage, right? Yes. Probably when the light shining at you, you look towards the back. But same time, it's not that you're looking away from them. Because I don't know if you, you can look eye to eye. But you know, at the start, to be really realistic, all speakers, you know, we have the fear or whatnot. To straight away okay. look into someone's eye. Unless it's one to one. Like if it's now you and me. Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be much of a problem because it's only both of us but if I have like another 10, 15 more people face to face <laughs> then I can, to look at each and yeah. every one it will be a bit more taxing I, so I how do you do that. it? okay what I, I you know I, I've been doing alright mm -hmm. I pretend to look into the eyes <laughs> yes, yes same that's thing. what I, I do, do the same. Yeah. that's what I do I look at their forehead uh -huh. I look at their yes. nose I look at their uh -huh. cheek anywhere Everything that is close else. to their eyes yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like you say, right, it could be daunting to look into, uh, for example, like, you know, professional people's eyes or just, you know, in general, the audience eyes. Yeah. Because when you look, when you are locked into someone's view, right, and you'll be like, uh oh, you'll see all of his expression, his or her expression. And is he bored? Yep. Is he interested and whatnot? Yep. Yep. Okay. So one, one thing that you can do is, you know, as uh, for beginners, Mm -hmm. If you feel like it's very daunting and you are very scared to look into people's eyes, you can look anywhere near the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, because of the distance, they'll think that you are looking into the eyes. Yep. True. That's another so, trick. Mm, so there's no, no, no problem around it. And do not forget to smile. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I always say this to students, you know, mm -hmm. try not to be too serious when you are giving like, you know, speeches, unless if you're giving a religious sermon. Or oh, is something know, then, serious, then yeah. Yeah, if something's like serious, like sad and whatnot, then of course you need to play with the emotions. But most of the time, try to to, to loosen up a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes and all that. Yeah, yeah. Jokes and all that. Yes, correct. And uh, you also need to learn to look for signs of interest as well as disinterest. Yes, very well. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one thing is when you found, because looking at the audience, right, when you are giving your speech, you try to find people, you know, who, who feel interested in listening to you. Mm -hmm. That will give you more motivation to share your ideas. Probably the ones who are, you know, showing this interest, probably you can get their attention and ask them, you know, questions to get them a little bit more engaged, you know? Correct. Correct. Yeah. You can always try to, to do that. Okay. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, those audience who seem uninterested, okay, they mm -hmm. might, they, most of the time, they, they are not, uh, uh, they are not, not interested in you, in your speech. You know, yeah. they are maybe tired. They maybe they were forced to go there and whatnot. Attention span as well yeah. because they're all different. Yeah. So try to think less of the negative side of the audience, okay, and just try to look for a sign of interest from the audience. Yeah. It will help yeah. you a lot. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Mo uh, let's move on to the fourth step. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is to breathe slowly. You need to practice this. Okay, uh, if, if you do yoga, all right, if you do yoga for beginners, they teach us how to do this. Okay, how to breathe slowly. In and this, out. Yeah, this is to help us to relax, to calm down our uh, state of mind. Hmm. Yeah, so you take one deep breath and you exhale it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you feel like your heart is about to jump out of your chest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to relax, calm yourself, collect yourself, take a deep breath. Uh, you need to practice, of course. 
and also breathe slowly can help to reduce heart rate. Okay, and uh, I think most of the time when, when we are when we feel so nervous about something, mm -hmm. uh, when we speak, our voice will sound like. Uh, 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 and probably you go like a train yeah. because that has happened to me. <laughs> yeah, you're trembling and then you you are going too quick with your speech and whatnot. Okay, so yeah. you need to to stop yourself for a second. Okay, mm -hmm. and collect yourself. And by breathing slowly, we can uh, uh, help to reduce the nervousness. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, can we move on to the next step? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, uh, yes. hold on, yeah, Mr. AJ. Um, mm -hmm. All viewers, please, please, please get in all the questions or um, anything about public speaking, anything you want to ask, you're not sure about anything, please feel free to share or to ask us anything. Yeah, we'll be here to uh, answer you and to guide you through. Mm, yes. All right, Mr. AJ. Okay, so for the next step, mm -hmm. uh, I think I think the audience know this. Okay, I think they've heard this before from their teachers, from their peers, from their uh, bosses. Okay, that <clears throat> do not memorize your speech. Oh my God! Yes. Okay? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, do not try to memorize it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If if you look at the picture down here, right? Memorization is great. is great. Yeah. It is I great, okay, because you can know everything, but mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just memorized it. And it so, doesn't turn um, out the way it should. Because I'll tell you why, before the, some of the forums, I actually prepared the speech, right? Mm. And when I actually come online, when I appear online, I basically only say one line, not even half of the page of the speech is done. So I'm like, I give up. So that's why now this when I come, it's all impromptu. <laughs> It should be, it should be, you know, uh, throughout the experience, you should now be able to do that, you know, impromptu kind of speech. Yep. You prepare, you prepare your points. Yes, of yes. course. Okay, you prepare your writings and all. All right. But when it comes down to doing it, to giving mm -hmm. a speech, you shouldn't be memorizing your, uh, the whole speech word for word. Yep. True. You know, again, because uh, during, during preparation time, right, you need to know what you want to say and also why. You want to say it. Key points would okay. do, I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah. When, but when you just memorize it, you will forget why you want to say it because you are focused. Uh, you will be too focused on, you know, uh, remembering the next word. Yes. Yes. And things like that. So, uh, of course, avoid memorizing your speech word for word. Mm -hmm. uh, try to rehearse your speech while you are standing up or walking around. Yep. Okay, try not to, to practice your speech while you are sitting down. Oh. That is because of our diaphragm, of our lung. Ah. Okay, because, yeah, okay. because when, when we are uh, sat down, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, our lungs is actually a little bit pressured. Ah. So we don't have a lot of air. Okay, got you. Okay, so when we are standing up, mm -hmm. okay, our lungs are more relaxed. So mm. our voice will sound clearer. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this is what, what, what I teach in, uh, in uh, phonetics and phonology. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, so when you want to practice, make sure you are standing up or walking around. Get comfortable. All right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, know your important points. Your important mm. points are very good, okay, to, to memorize. And this one is, you know, uh, you can have a piece of paper, okay, write down your important point, but do not, yes. do not print out the whole speech and then <laughs> yes. yeah, bring it on the stage. You yes. will sound like a robot if you uh -huh. do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So uh, audience, I'm sure uh, this uh, is what you were taught before or uh, you knew. Okay, but you, people told you not to do it. Okay, but most of the time we tend to do it. We try to prepare our speech. Okay, fine. And then we try to memorize it. It's mm -hmm. not a very good way. Idea. Yeah. If you want to give a good and effective speech. Yep. Okay. True, true. Uh, again, do not read from your scripts. This is not a reading class. Okay, you are giving your speech. The audience wants to listen to you not the audience 
uh, wants to listen to you reading. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next step. Okay. This is my favorite step. Is to act, act confident. confident. Okay. You need to act confident. Okay. Even if you are not. Fake All it right? till you make it. <laughs> yeah. Fake it till you make it. That's the the the, the point. You know. Uh, yeah. Because people they they just don't notice unless you tell them. Okay, yeah. because you know you'll be on the stage and they will be on the floor. Uh, there's a distance between us, and they will not see it. Okay, so do not tell the audience that you are nervous. Actually, um, <coughs> about this, uh, <clears throat> I I can understand why you are actually telling us this. Like, you don't do not tell the audience that you're nervous. But I, I came through this workshop once, right? And the, mm. the few speakers to come up to share their personal experience because I went for a mental health. It was sort of like a forum thingy. So we had survivors there who came and shared with us their point of view. So mm. this girl who came, she actually told us, she said, uh, I remember vaguely again because it really got to me. She said, guys, I'm really scared right now. I'm really nervous. So if y'all can actually uh, en get engaged with me, with my speech right now, it will actually help me better. And it worked out well. It worked out well. She actually spoke very well after that. So, would there be much of a? Okay, I think it depends on situation to them. Uh, when when you, when you say it like that, I I totally understand the situation. You yeah. know, you you are being empathetic and you are being sympathetic and you try to gauge the audience in that way. Uh, yeah. But like you say, it depends on, on the, the type of speech and situation that you are in. Yes. For example, like you are you are making a sale. Okay, you're trying to sell something. You you can't tell people that you are nervous in to sell the product. Yes, oh, no? true. And it, it won't happen. It, people won't buy it if you are not confident with your product. Mm -hmm. So uh, things like, it, it depends on the situation. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And uh, no, just get to the front, stand up straight, smile and act confident. Okay. It's okay not to be confident. It's it's tot totally normal for us not to feel confident, okay? So uh, don't think less of yourself be just because you are not confident enough. Yes. Okay, think of this as a journey for you to get to your better self. Yep. Okay, all right. And uh, so, yeah, act confident, okay? Uh, I have, I think Roshini and myself, we have go gone through a lot of processes to, to get here, okay? To be able to speak yeah. in front of public. I mean, up until now, I still feel nervous every time I, I you know, yes. go onto stage. Yes, I will great. still feel my heart like pumping out. Do yeah, you feel the yeah. same, Roshini? Yes, until now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and for the audience, you need to know that this is normal. Yes, very normal, very normal. Yes. Don't feel, uh, you know, like odd out. You know, it's it's it's, yeah. it's usual. We're humans. We're just humans. But you, yeah. I, I promise you this, you will get better as time goes. Take yes. it from me. Take it from Mr. AJ. Yes. Definitely, and, yes. And also take it from what Dr. Mabel said just now. Confidence yeah. comes with experience. Yes, improves with yeah. experience. We have yes. a comment in the comment section. Someone mm. named Kelvin YK, he said, hi. Hi, hi Kelvin. Kelvin. Yeah, hi, mm -hmm. Kelvin. Put in all your, um, we have approximately seven minutes left. Uh, any questions or uh, your, your point of view about public speaking? So, um, Mr. AJ, um, yes. I just want to ask you, who inspires mm. you in their speaking so far? Uh, so far, uh, I have two people. Actually, I put their pictures in the slides because oh. I'm so excited about is them. It Mark Twain and... Uh, no, 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 no. no, no, it's, no, no. It's, <laughs> there are two people. The first one is, uh, he is called Hassan Minhaj. Oh, I know. He's a stand-up comedian, right? He's a stand-up comedian. He's and also he a writer, yes. a producer, and also a political commentator. He yeah, has his good. own show yeah, mm -hmm. on Netflix. He's, yep, he's really good. Uh, it's really good. He's really engaging, and at the same yes. time, he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Yeah, I, I love when when a speaker is you know throwing jokes here and there. I love and it. He, um, he can put things in a very witty, sarcastic way. Yet it, the point gets to you. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, because he's very expressive when he's giving out his point. Yep. And I love that. 
And uh, the next one, I think, uh, would be, do you know Viola Davis? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a, she's an yes. a, a African-American actress. She was in The Help or uh, yes, what else? Yes. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder, if you watch yes, that series. Yes, I'm watching that now, yeah. <laughs> so if she's you watch her uh, speeches during uh, Emmy Award, Tony Awards, uh, also Academy Awards, you feel like you feel connected and you felt you feel her stories mm. yes and and what, what about you roshini i'm sure you have a person who inspires you uh with their speaking abilities okay i i have a few in different different sec sections i'll explain mm -hmm. i think if it's going to be professional like leadership and all hands off is just uh president obama no one else him, yes. Mich Michelle Obama, like he's, ah, I don't know, I don't know what to call him. He's just, he's not only good in speaking, but um, as the leader, I think best leader in earth. I can't, on, on earth, I can't find anyone better than that. But um, mm -hmm. that is for, you know, professional and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, yeah, he has part, there are times that he actually, you know, had his jokes and whatnot. So that's fine. Um, Trevor Noah, stand-up comedian. Yeah, yeah. I only wonder how this not only not only Trevor we have yeah Hassan as well, mm -hmm. uh, Veer Das he's from India but then he now he goes mm -hmm. worldwide. So all these people, uh, Russell Peters as well. You know yes, Russell Peters. How did you stand up for that one hour all alone, and they get people engaged throughout? It's still I wonder. It's so, it's a lot of practice, a lot of experience, oh. and a lot of uh, research being done. And they don't no. even have a paper with them to remind them of anything. It just goes with the flow. And I'm like, yeah. how, how, how? But then, yeah. This you know, uh, I, I think I think uh, what you're saying is, you know, some people, they are just born with it. Yeah, yes. Yep. But, but a lot of us, a lot of us were not mm -hmm. born with it and we have to... Uh, uh, cultivate it. Yes, cultivate it, gain it. Yes. So it's, it's, again, it's very normal. Okay. Yeah, but but when 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 you mentioned Barack Obama, I remember his uh, speech. I think in UN, I think mm -hmm. when he was uh. giving a speech about something, he he uses this you know a lot of pauses, and it was very very effective. Like okay, another thing, he doesn't have this um uh you know all those, those the fillers those yeah yes they don't have oh, call it fillers yeah okay yeah fillers he does not he does not have that and I. Yeah, even those stand-up comedians, they don't have all those. So, yeah, it, it still amazes me. Hmm, how do you do it? I think it's the level of confidence is just so much. Yeah, you're saying, so, about, so much. you're saying about President Obama and the UN? Yeah. And he, he I think uh, when, when, when he spoke, right, during uh, the ceremony, mm -hmm. and he uses a lot of pauses. You know, when like, he speaks, Mm -hmm. when he speaks and then he pause for maybe one or two seconds mm -hmm. and then he'll continue so yeah. it is one of the very effective uh, uh speaking ability you know when when you pause you actually give a little bit of time for people to reflect yep. and to focus on you like what you are going to say next what are you going to say next you know things like that so i think it was very very effective yeah, so the audience, so if you want to, to see or to uh, see, you know, good people in giving their speeches, you can uh, look for Barack Obama, Hassan Minaj, uh, Russell Peters, you know, all these famous names, you know, because they are so, the, the level of their confidence is just out of the world. And you can learn a lot from them. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah. You can also go to TED Talk, T E D Talk. Oh yes, TED Talks. Yes, yes TED Talks. As well. Yeah, you it's it's good, it's good practice and you will you will gain a lot of experience from that just by you know watching them. Yep. Mm -hmm. That okay. is one. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. Yes, Mr. AJ, we got one more minute left. Okay. Uh okay, last point. Yeah. Okay. Be less self-conscious. Okay, be more audience conscious. Think about the audience. Think about what you have to give, not about what you hope to get. You know, some, some people, they give, they were called to a certain place to give speech and they get money and they get uh, admiration and they get uh, all of this uh, <coughs> fame and whatnot. 
Okay, always think about the audience. Will the audience gain anything from my uh, speech? Yeah. Okay, and think, always think about the audience and then you will feel less self-conscious and you'll be more audience-centered. And this yes. can help you. When yeah. you're more audience-centered, you actually, um, you actually, what you do is you have the sense of connection. I, I don't know how this, I mean, I don't know what this, the specific word Empathetic. It, but, you you'll yeah. be like more empathetic and easier for the audience to to feel like you are on their side. Yes, and when you connect with them, then you 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 find the speech more easy flowing. You know, more Correct. easy going yeah. because you already have yeah. that 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 connection. So mm -hmm. yes, Mr. AJ, actually, if you have more, you can actually share. We it's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, of course number eight is believe in yourself. Uh, this goes back to the you know the definition of confidence. Yes. that we saw earlier is for you to believe in yourself ah i have your your uh, inspiration oh, right here no. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> people do not expect you to become the next barack obama come on okay i mean if you, if that is your your ambition then go ahead all yes. right okay but for uh, for for a start okay you just go out and do it all right you will make mistakes I promise me, trust me, uh, you will make mistakes and making mistakes are good, is good, okay, for you to learn from it. And, but you need to believe that you can improve so much than how you are now. And you will improve as you go throughout your life. Okay, yes. and these are the, okay, so, you know, from this, we want to be, if you look at the picture, right, the lady is, you know, covering and Frozen. <laughs> hair looking uh, messy and all. Mm -hmm. And we want to be this, mm -hmm. yes. you know, calm, collected, smiling, hands out, you know. But if we can talk about the steps, the fear all day long, you know, yeah. maybe even a week, we can talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but unless you start doing it, you start conquering your fear, it will never change. So yeah, to change is to start. Yes, I, mm. I just wanted to come up with, I mean, not come up, it's Barack Obama's quote. He, he said this once in one of his speeches. He said that change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. Mm. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we see. So to actually, all actually I, I, I wrote this yesterday. I was like, <laughs> I was just <laughs> writing it down. <laughs> I always keep this. I always keep this in mind to move mm. forward. So I'm sure to all uh, young viewers as well as our viewers who are much more elderly, I'm sure um, y'all can connect to this. So always start slow, but the change comes from within. Yeah. Change comes from within. Yeah, correct. And uh, <clears throat> don't be afraid. Okay, just... But just just go and do it okay conquer the fear that you have right now all right and and these are the two people okay that, that i mentioned just now when you asked the question who inspired me uh, mm -hmm. with their you know speaking <laughs> so the first one is hassan minaj and the second one is viola, viola david. david yeah and uh you can watch hassan minaj on patriot act on netflix mm -hmm. okay or He's i think it's on youtube as well i think I haven't mm. haven't checked if they have it on YouTube, but yeah, to those who have Netflix, uh, yeah, please, please, please watch how they actually speak. You'll get a um, picture of how how it is, how how what is the feel like to you know speak to a large crowd of people. I usually mm -hmm. watch uh, President Obama and Michelle Obama how they mm -hmm. speak. So from there, I get my ideas like okay, this is how you be confident. So yeah, hmm. so learn from other people and. Uh, go out there and do it yes because actions will always help you when you start doing it when you experience it you will know what to do next yeah and then next correct and then next. so do okay not so stop. yep so uh can can we open the floor to for q a session yes all do we viewers. Have time? yes yep. we can not a problem um viewers if y'all have questions anything at all if even um it's a point of views about, uh, you know, something that you have probably come across or seen someone going through. Anything, just put it in the comment section below. Uh, Dr. Mabel uh, actually said that um, 
Mr. Jalil has been superb as an MC for UCSI Convocation Ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all can go and Google. I mean, is, is it on YouTube though? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's on, it's on YouTube. So yeah, you can go, YouTube. you guys, all viewers, you can actually go and uh, YouTube UCSI College Convocation and you'll see Mr. Jalil there. So y'all can even use him as an example. <laughs> no, he might be the next Barack Obama, right? <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, so? Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yes. Um, about that, now, just a few questions from my side, uh, mm. Mr. AJ, because I got a few things I want to ask you. Yes. Um, how important or to what extent are emotions, you know, how important emotions are in a speech? I'm not sure if my question is, I mean, my mind. My, my I, I, I understand the question. I mean, uh, yeah. we need to use our emotions uh, when we give speech. Yes, how okay, important uh, is it? For me, it's very, very important. So why why it, do you think it's important? Why do you other, think it's important? Other than that, it'd be just like a robot. Like I can come over and say, example, I can just come and say that, please love everyone. This is without emotion. <laughs> or I can, please love everyone. You know, please be kind to everyone. It's much more better. If not, we can just have a robot. So for me, that's why yeah. I feel we have humans to do it because the only thing I think uh, that connects us all as a human being, basis of everything is the connection, which robots mm. can do. So that is why we have humans to do public speaking, correct? So yes. that is why I think emotions are very important for me. That's yes. why I think emotions are. I'm not sure it's, it's correct though. It It's true. You know, th there is no right or wrong answer to this. Mm. You know, some people, they just do not have any emotions and yes. but 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 you need to understand how to manipulate the emotion when you are giving speech you know uh, this is to help us to be more empathetic again i said this before when you want the audience to be on your side when you want the audience to understand your point mm -hmm. okay you want the audience to feel you is mm -hmm. for you to use the emotion okay it they, they can help uh, the emotions, I mean, can help you to be closer to the audience. It connects us with the audience. Yeah, so I, it is very, very important for us to 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 be able to manipulate, you know, the emotion. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that you know you you need to cry on the stage. Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just about your tone and your pronunciation and you know your pitch. You know, it can gives us a lot to that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So speak um, with emotions. Yep. Speak with emotions. <laughs> okay. It's uh, eleven oh eight. We'll have this until eleven ten. Probably two more minutes. Um, mm -hmm. to all viewers, if you if yeah, any questions, anything at all. Um, if you want to share with us, if you have a quote that you like to talk about, anything about public speaking. Um, yeah. On that note, um. I think other than emotions, voice, your intonation mm. probably as well as eye contact is yeah. also yes. the field that you need to look for. It's, you know, it, it's a holistic process. You know, mm -hmm. you need to have, uh, you need to emote certain emotions. You need to be able to look at, to look into the audience eyes and give them the attention. And uh, you need to watch your tones, your, uh, what is that? Your pronunciation and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Okay, all of those things. Uh, uh, when, you know, I've got this question before, how important is one's tone of voice mm -hmm. uh, when speaking? And I have to say that <laughs> English is not a tonal language. Okay. English is not a tonal language. Okay. It's pronounced with uh, pitch variations. Okay, different pitch mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, let, let's take uh, Chinese language, for example, Mandarin. Mm -hmm. It's a tonal language because, for example, let's say the word ma. Mm. We have ma, 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 yes. ma. Yes. Okay. okay. And they the carry pinyin, different, yeah. yeah, the four pinyin. So they carry different meanings. But with English, it doesn't have, uh, it, it doesn't carry different meaning. You if you say ma, you. ma. You, you, you. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Same thing. Okay. Yeah. So, but still, you know, you need to be able to, uh, uh, <clears throat> differentiate your pitch patterns, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, your tone, rise your tone or lower your tone whenever the situation or, or let's say 
you want to say something, you know, sad. Mm. Okay, so you lower your tone a little bit. I think during this time, we need to understand, you know, things that, like that. Yeah. If you are happy and then you're like, guys, let's give a clap to Roshini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, got it. For example. Yeah. So it's, it's more about the uh, pitch and how you, uh, you know, emote the emotion. Emotions. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that you can get that. Okay. Um, all right. Um, thank you so much, Mr. AJ. Today has been really a, uh, I think I learned a lot. I'm sure our viewers did as well. Uh, so far, we don't have any questions yet, but if, okay, to all viewers, if y'all have any questions now about um, anything that USA Psych College offers, anything or even about public speaking, please get in touch with us. Um, you may go on our website. It's www.ucsicollege.edu.my and um, or you can actually WhatsApp us at 0113-530-8837. Alternatively, you can actually uh, put in the anything at all in the comment section below and we get in touch with you. Now, um, once again, thank you so much, Mr. AJ. No problem. I'm, I'm sure all I'm our viewers have... This. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. And I'm sure all our viewers have actually benefited from it. So to all our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in until now. And um, please like our page so that you will know what are the upcoming forums are about. And signing off is me, Roshni, with Mr. AJ. And I'll see you all soon for the next forum. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Take care. All right.